Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives to push this truth. And also Shalom to those who are sincerely seeking this truth. Shalom. It's the brother Yara Ya from the GMS Italia camp. And I'm here with another quick one, which is going to be like uh, a continuation of what I of the of the lesson I started yesterday, which is just, you know, some words of encouragement regarding what's about to come on earth very soon. So as you all know. We're about to go into very, very hard times, you know. And the Most High Yehovah Hashem Yehovah Shai has promised to be with us as long as we do His will, you know. Which some of us will still have to, you know, probably pay with our lives, you know. But whatever our lot be, you know, we just take it. The Most High Yehovah Hashem Yehovah Shai knows better. But we have to be, be, we have to be, you know, positive, you know, and have faith that we'll get help from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. So as you can see, you know, yesterday I was saying it's going to really be, you know, crazy winter. So this is the news I saw today. You know, the Philippine president threatens, you know, what refusers will stick, I will stick that needle in your ass, you know. So you see, so it's getting to some really crazy time. I also saw this post today. It said, don't get me wrong. There is a crisis being faced in the country. There is a national emergency. If you don't want to get, you know what? I'll have you arrested and I'll inject the mm in your butt. Okay. So he's starting right now and, you know, it's making, it's making the headway for... For his bosses you know have other then oh there is one i'm looking for which is and it's not here you know i think the president biden of the united states also made you know a statement which is you know similar to this and we know this is just the beginning and it's going to be all around the world, all around Europe, all around Babylon, the great United States, everywhere, you know. Shit is about to get really serious, man. So, we need to strengthen our minds and prepare ourselves for what's about to come, okay? It is either we choose this truth or choose the other way, you know? This truth leads to eternal life. Here is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 2. I read from verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yehovah Hashem Yahushai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Okay, many people are making haste, you know. Now, this is a little trouble, you know. People are making haste to go get the waters, you know. They want to travel. They want to do all different kinds of things, you know. So, they're hasting up, you know. Falling for the traps, you know. It says, Cleave unto him, that's the most high Yehovah Hashem Yahushai, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient. When thou art changed to a low estate, we are actually in a low estate now, you know. We are, we are expecting the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to send his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Redeemer, to redeem us to our proper position, which are the princes of the power, princes of this planet. We're supposed to, you know, manage this place not the wicked the so-called white man the devils who are managing it now in wickedness verse 5 says 
For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Okay. It also says, because now we're going to, we've been tried. Okay, we've been tried. But a major test is coming, which is, you know, connected to the, to the time of Jacob's trouble. It is either... You choose the so-called illusion of freedom that this world is offering or you choose the true way that leads to life which is everlasting life and you know the illusion that this world is offering is just death you know believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him so we have to believe in these words that are given to us you know this is the only thing that can be the stability of our times you know these words are going to be the stability of our time they are going to keep us strong and firm in the hard times that are about to come you know then i have another precept always from the same book chapter 4 verse 28 this is going to be just a quick short one oh they have this advert get out so as you can see this is always the book of um ecclesiasticus known as sirach chapter 4 i read verse 28 it's quotes strive for the truth unto death and the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai shall fight for thee. Okay, this is this is meant to be what should be on our hearts now, you know, because this is actually what makes difference, you know. The people who don't know this truth, they just fall like mice on the on the on the cheese trap, you know, and they get caught up, you know, death. But we. We know we, we have a lot of things that we're going to suffer, you know, but we are holding strong and firm to this truth because this is what is going to, you know, give us eternal life. This is where our faith is. This is where our heart is, you know. So, hey, I just wanted to, you know, complete the lesson of yesterday with this two, two precepts, you know, a few words of encouragement. You know, prepare your spirit, your heart for the days that are about to come. You know, like in the book of um, Daniel chapter 12, 1, it lets you know, like, it's the time, there, there have never been a time like this before, man. And these devils are coming, they're coming with full force, man. They're coming with full force. They're going to implicate some new strategies, you know. Like, if you don't get this, you know what? You can't you can't walk you can't do certain things you know so well i'm going to stop here i hope it was edifying and i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth risking their lives and shalom